Welcome back to the show. Okay, we could call him a renaissance man, maybe a Tucson legend, or as Ron Burgundy would say, he's kind of a big deal. Kind of a big deal. <laughs> Our friend and co-worker Kagan Nine's evening anchor Guy Ashley is teaming up with Tucson Lifestyle Magazine to showcase his other passion, photography. Publisher Doug Burke and executive editor of the magazine Scott Barker are also joining us to talk about this month's newcomer issue. Gentlemen, all thank you for uh, joining us. Oh, Guy, you. a little early for you. I would just like to say that I love lamp. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. That was perfect. <laughs> it could have been more on cue. I love it. So we're obviously totally on board with your choice uh, as Guy, <laughs> as the cover of this uh, month's issue. Why is it that you chose Guy? We know we love him. But what was your reasoning? Well, the, the magazine, really, we try to do our best to connect with Tucson. Yes. And when we can show people who the readers are familiar with, and actually the readers really love Guy. They voted him their favorite news anchor on several occasions. So... When we, can, when we can couple Guy with a passion that he has, the photography, and make it a beautiful pictorial, it's a natural fit. Yes. Yeah. And I have to say, this edition, I just, I love the cover. I love the guys on it, of course, but the cover itself is just really unique. So, Scott, how do you kind of come up with the concept for the cover each month? Uh, in this particular case, we work with uh, Tom Spitz, who's a photographer that we uh, have for our covers uh, many, many times. And... Uh, we just wanted something that was really colorful, that showed action, that showed the kind of thing that Guy is so good at depicting because we all know he's at every great event around town and he's so good at finding people that have a real story to tell. And uh, it turned out that the, the venue that we went to and, and uh, Diana, who's our, our dancer in that shot, uh, they were a great story. And it just was kind of a natural progression to put all of that together. Well, really, the hard part would be picking just a few photos to put into this issue because guys taken so many how do you even pick which ones to put in i think there was arm wrestling going on <laughs> time flipping and I, I don't know it got pretty ugly but yeah no it's the hardest thing about about it is all of guys photos are great so trying to narrow it down is just impossible Oh, I'm sure. And Guy, of course, we all love your work. Tina just had her engagement photos done by love. Guy. Oh, and wonderful. they're just stunning. They really are. Thank and you. And I know a lot of people around town know that you're a photographer, and maybe some don't. How long have you been, you know, doing photography, and what got you interested in it? I've taken pictures all of my life, but just about seven to eight years ago, I just decided, you know, I really want to really get serious about this. So I got some great Canon cameras, went out, and uh, made it a point to start shooting, especially on weekends. Yes, is when I, I caught you. <laughs> on, on a and you know what, Guy? I knew you did photography, but when you came, you were so professional. You have such a good eye. I think that's just a talent that you just had within you. So can you say what was like your best photography moment or something that you captured? Well, uh, the first picture that we saw there was of Agua Caliente Park. And uh, I think that points out the importance of a picture because Agua Caliente Park does not look like that anymore, does it, guys? Mm, nope. 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 It has dried up so, so badly because of our drought. And, you know, that's what pictures do. They save that moment for us where we can remember the spectacular. Absolutely. Oh, well, I know our viewers are going to just love the photos that they've chosen for this issue of Tucson Lifestyle Magazine. And it's also, Doug, it's also the newcomer's edition. So it what is. What does that exactly mean? Well, once a year we put together uh, a lot of uh, information that would help somebody who's new to town and, and help them understand what the city's about, what makes it so unique. So it's a lot of uh, expanded lists and things that really help uh, people get a feel for, for our town. I, I actually ran into a, a person at a, a luncheon meeting one day and he came all the way across the room to shake my hand. He and his wife had just moved here from Fort Worth, Texas. And he said that Tucson Lifestyle had become his and his wife's uh, guide to, to the town, their, their welcome wagon, so to speak. So this one issue really expands on what's available to people here. You know what I like about you guys is that you look for the good. Mm -hmm. You've Absolutely. always done that and I try to do the same. Wonderful. Oh. Wonderful. I think that is amazing. Now, if someone is, like you said, it needs like a tour guide to Tucson, how does someone read the magazine or get a hold of the magazine? Well, certainly you can uh, purchase the magazine at uh, Whole Foods, Sprouts, Walgreens, or you can call our office. Uh, we're on uh, East Tank of Verde. You can call the office at 721-2929 and subscribe, or you can stop by the office and purchase uh, a copy as well.
By the way, the little girl that we just saw yeah. with the pumpkins there, that's Kimberly Romo's daughter. Kimberly used to be morning anchor oh, on yeah. K-Gun 9, right. and that's Brooklyn. Uh, well, <laughs> we look at these beautiful photos, guy that you, and there she is. Oh, she's adorable. She is. We took about 300 pictures that morning, <laughs> and then she gave me that one look, and that was it. Uh, that was the winner. <laughs> Little do we know, the go, though, guy, you've been in some uh, situations that we didn't even know. I think we have some other pictures of you, maybe with like a Lindsay Lohan, and yes, yeah, as you're a, everywhere. As a matter of fact, this, this picture <laughs> on the cover has uh, taken on what they call a meme. Yes. Uh, so, uh, let's Let's take a look here. There, <laughs> there I am. Uh, you, we all remember Lindsay's exploits, so I tried. I, I was able to get into the back seat yeah. of the vehicle to get this shot. You're a sneaky guy. I am, and of course I was around at the Declaration of Independence. I had no of idea, but of course you were. That makes complete sense. Uh, absolutely, and uh, you know I tried to uh, get into the set of Star Wars as often as I could. <laughs> I'll look for you in the background of the movie. Absolutely, and uh, and Predator is my friend. He also he also loves lamp. He also oh, loves of lamp. He does, and we should say now this is the work of your brother's friend. These yeah, photos, yeah, Matt Rios, who did some uh, magic <laughs> yes, last night to make us laugh. Now look at this. That's this from a few years ago, isn't it, Scott? You and I go ways back. We go way back. I think it was middle school, actually, <laughs> when, when, I, when we first interviewed. Um, yeah, no, we've loved Guy for years, and, and we always, uh, you know, as, as Doug said, we look for things to promote in the community that are, that are extraordinary, and Guy is extraordinary in so many things that he does, and uh, so it, he's always been a natural fit for us. And can I just it. say that I, I know it didn't capture in the picture, but I love what's underneath the picture, a regular guy, because you know what? You, you are. You're just such a, a down-home, personable person, Guy. I know we see you on TV every night, but guy, people have to know how amazing you are. Thank you, Tina. Thank you both for choosing. Thank you. That was amazing. Yes, yeah. great, great yeah. magazine, Tucson Lifestyle Magazine. We're going to make sure our viewers have all the information to get their own copy. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you very and much. And you can subscribe to Tucson Lifestyle Magazine by calling 721-2929 or by logging on to TucsonLifestyle.com.